Joshua said she said no spark after five dates. Was there something I could have done slash said wrong or just no connection? It's <clears throat> definitely possible that you guys just didn't connect. Yeah, 100%. There's someone like I can think of so many friends I have that we have such different taste in people. We would each be disgusted by each other's pick and who we're attracted to. I've right. never had a friend almost ever that was attracted to the same person as me that's interesting i think for men maybe it's different um yeah but i mean as far as like a spark i mean you could have the spark sometimes it's just like instant mm -hmm. like with me and her like it was yeah. pretty instant <laughs> yeah she was looking at me with like puppy dog as the day we met but there has been situations where like you know you don't have a spark and then it ends up being something you know as you very get to know true. them a little more but it's all you know very i don't know it's very dependent. But if she says she has, she feels no spark, I don't know if it's after five dates. I don't know if it's something that you should continue to pursue because yeah. uh, you probably just want to. But there are definitely some things like I know you have advice for guys on how to be communicating with women to. Yeah. As, yeah, because she said, was there something I could have done slash said wrong? It's possible. It, it just depends on how you put your... If you put yourself out there genuinely, like completely genuinely, and I'm not talking genuine as in you're taking clips from what you've seen online or something. I'm talking about your genuine self. And then she says that there's no spark. Then there was no spark. Then you did everything that you could do. But um, hopefully that's what you're doing and you're not going based off of... Um, you know, some kind of plan that you have in your mind. Yeah. Or also, I think a lot of times guys are very focused on the outcome of the situation and not in the sense, not in a good way where they have an intention for how it's going to go. And they're living from that state where they really assume that that's how it's going to go. But it's more from a place where they're worried that it's not going to lead yeah. where they want it to go. So if you're doing that, then you're absolutely not going to be able to be yourself. So if you notice that you maybe felt not yourself or if you felt that you were a little nervous in these situations, then yeah, there's definitely things that you can do moving forward to alleviate that and bring your, you know, your true Real. self out. Yeah. Um, Renee said, how to deal with a husband telling you he doesn't see the spark in you anymore? He means that he doesn't feel like I'm going anywhere in my life and he wants a divorce. Wow. That's uh, that's different. Go on. I don't like, know about this guy. Just accept the divorce. <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't really like this guy. Do you think that maybe he's saying that as an excuse to try and put something on you because he's feeling like he wants to step out on the marriage? Also, is he going anywhere in his life? Like, yeah. What is he doing that you're not doing? And why does he care? Yeah. Is it like a money thing? Because that always like, that's so crazy to me. When mm -hmm. I remember when you put out that video about like men being, I mean, women being, you know, women are called lazy all the time because yeah. of the different energy levels. Mm -hmm. And there's all these women saying like, oh yeah, my man calls me lazy for not getting up at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why get do you over care? Yourself. Yeah. I, it's, There's plenty wow. of men in the world who are willing to take care of a woman and allow them to work at their own pace and not decide that their woman should be the breadwinner in the situation or that their woman needs to be doing something and making something of their life. That's not what life is about. Life is to be happy. Now, I understand if you're with someone and they're unhappy and you're kind of feeling the brunt of that mm -hmm. um, because if you are, and this kind of ties into be happy regardless of your partner, um, which is what else I wanted to talk about it. Um, if you are putting the burden of happiness on your partner, if you are making it so your partner is the reason that you're unhappy, that can be extremely exhausting. Yeah. So if it's the case that he feels maybe that you're not happy and you're, you're putting that on him, that could be a reason that he wants you to do something because he wants you to focus on something else. But... But, I mean, that's your question. You know, that's a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, Aspen, about the guy f saying he fantasizes about other girls. Aspen said, fiance says he fantasizes about other girls. You have to definitely be the type of girl who can hack it. A man being honest about that. Uh, guys are, you know, men are men. You kind of have to realize that if they're attracted to you, it's because they're attracted to women. Um, and he might be saying it to you. There's a lot of different reasons he could be saying it to you. It depends. If 
he's a generally good guy and he's saying that it might be because he thinks that that is going to be attractive to you and you're going to play off of that if he generally manipulates you and makes you feel less about yourself then he could be saying it in order to make you not feel good about yourself yeah Hopefully in it's what not context that. did he bring this up because mm-hmm. that's a that's a big thing yeah because honestly in my personal opinion i don't think he should be saying it at fantasizing all. is kind of a it's a little wild it's a is a little much but unless you guys were having a conversation about you know and is it other girls that you know or, or is it like people like celebrities or something yeah after an argument about how he does not listen to me he brought this up yeah okay mm-hmm. yeah in that situation i would just tell him that you're fantasizing about other guys <laughs> and see what happens you're fantasizing about wait what, what was the argument about about how he doesn't listen okay yeah tell him that you fantasize about guys who listen to you yeah just yeah. start watching like magic Mike or something in front of him yes Ugh, guys like that it's wild i really can't this is one i like that's like one of those videos um that i had about men don't bring up what they're unhappy about they wait until you bring up what you're upset about to mm-hmm. say what they're upset about so you say oh you don't listen and he says well i fantasize about other women it's like great Cool. This is moving us forward. In okay, life, yeah. yeah. I feel like you definitely don't listen because I'm talking about you not listening and you're talking about other women. Yeah. So way to prove my point. That's what you should tell him. Is like, thank you for absolutely proving my point. Because clearly all you're thinking about, oh, I guess that's the problem. You're just fantasizing about other women. That's why you can't hear anything. Yeah, it's wild. Um, but that's not okay. No, um, I don't listen to any of that then. I mean, it's one thing. Okay, if he's not a total manipulator, fine have a conversation with him about it some guys just can't um they just don't bring things up because they're afraid to but once they okay okay here's what it is because this is what they always say in the comments men don't bring up what they're upset about because they are afraid of starting an argument but once you've already started the argument and things are already not pleasant he feels like well here's a great time to tell her that i like other girls because she's already upset with me so i'm or, not ruining yeah. anything or anything else they'll, they'll bring up everything i mean that's that's exactly how it works it's yeah. like men don't want to be the initiators of the argument mm-hmm. because they feel like it's better to not have the argument mm-hmm. and just like have it in the back of their minds yeah. forever but yeah as soon as as soon as it's bad it's like oh okay yeah can't get any worse so <laughs> let like, me just it go for worse. it yeah but meanwhile women are not afraid to bring it up because women know that bringing up what you're upset about is the only way to move forward seems so logical when you think about it right does it not yeah what are the early signs of dating a narcissist they definitely don't show it early it starts to take a while like i would say it might even take a month but maybe one of the first signs is them avoiding you at times Mm. because they are not able to perform that day interesting um that was to me my first sign that something is off like we would have plans to hang out and then he would be really just not following up on it i'd be the one that was kind of pushing it forward and then sometimes we wouldn't get together i'd wait for hours and what was going on i think is that he was kind of depressed and doing pills or something and not wanting to drive to pick me up like he said he was going to and just not able to be the wealthy successful happy level guy that he pretended to be i'd say it really starts with a gut feeling that you're like this person is pretending yeah and it's also like a lot of you know as far as early 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 signs it's like depending on how depending on how much they talk about themselves that's a that's a big one some of them are really good at not doing that though that's that's, what's that's crazy. true but you but that's also like a manipulator like a regular narcissist doesn't really do that yeah that much they're not aware enough to act empathetic mm-hmm. you know but um if someone has like a serious lack of empathy that's a that's a that's a clear sign 